Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Pisces, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Pisces, spirit. What does Pisces need to know today? Pisces. Knight of Swords. Ooh. Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Oh, the Three of Swords. Five of Wands. Eight of uh, Wands came, came out earlier when I, I mean, when I was shuffling, and I put it back, and it's out again. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling somebody here, somebody here wants to communicate. This, this person is going through a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, nightmares. They want to rush in. They want to rush in because they feel they're losing their person to maybe new love or something. It's really heartbreaking for them. They want to fight for this connection or they want to talk. They feel, they feel in the dark. They feel their person is keeping secrets from them. So... I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course, uh, Pisces. Let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'll clarify these. Pisces and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Okay. A few more from another deck. Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person. Okay, just a few more Pisces from a third deck, and then we'll start the reading. Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person. All right, good to go, Pisces. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, My feelings for you are extremely intense. I can see that with the first card here. I, my feelings for you are extremely intense. Do you feel the same as I do for you? We are getting older and wasting precious time on playing these dumbass runner chaser games. Let's just level the F up already. Are we doing this or what? Every day I pray, God, please bring us back together. Separation is an illusion. I'm all ready with you, always. I've seen the future with you. I want you by my side. I don't feel as though I'm good enough for you yet. I'm really sorry for giving you the silent treatment. Always on my mind and in my heart. Yes, that's you. Always and forever. Your ego is effing irritating me. Can't you see the value that I would add in your life? If you would only just let me in, we could be a strong power couple. I don't think there's so much ego, then there is insecurity here from what I'm feeling. This person is very insecure. Your love makes my day, my week, my month, my year and my life. You're all I ever truly wanted in my life. You are my everything. It drives me crazy how you manage to read, read my mind and hijack my thoughts. How do you know everything? I can't hide anything from you. All right. So these were some of your messages, Pisces, if these were resonating with your storyline. Let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Pisces gang with today. Blessing, guidance, advice or a message you could you could Pisces be in very magnetic uh, energy at this time maybe drawing in all kinds of people towards you just like this angel and all these birds and animals are flocking towards this angel so so it says be very mindful of who you're attracting in a lot of different kind of people could be watching or being attracted to your energy at this time so spirit tell me what's this 
what's the knight of swords it could be making a person jealous from what i feel <laughs> knight of swords knight of swords yeah this person is wanting they've been manifesting a passionate brand new beginning they want this this person has been manifesting like crazy and now it's almost like they can't wait they want to rush back in they want to rush towards their person maybe send a message or you know come towards their person because they are scared i think that their person is talking to new people what if they find new love are they with somebody new uh, what if um, Yeah, if they feel things have been stagnant between the two of you and uh, they're feeling like I shouldn't have played those mind games. I feel like such a loser now because my person is out there, single, beautiful, independent, maybe moving on towards new love, leaving me behind, moving towards their own peace and happiness. Maybe they've made up their mind now that they don't want anything with me. Uh, so it's actually making them feel quite, um, quite like that as if they lost if this was the person who was playing the games in the past now they are desperately wanting to rush back in uh, they want uh, ace of swords what's the ace of swords they want to know the truth about <laughs> can is there any possibility of rebuilding hey or are you with somebody new i think that's the main worry right now is what if my person chooses somebody new this person wants to know the truth they want to know the truth if, if there's any possibility that this can be rebuilt. Somewhere they are scared that because in the past maybe they said no. They could have refused a commitment or they could have insulted their person or rejected their person. Now they know that um, they, they probably caused a lot of heartbreak in this connection, right? So it's like, I don't know whether they'll even choose me now, whether they want me in their life or not. Yeah, they somewhere feel very embarrassed and very ashamed of some past action very embarrassed very ashamed they feel oh my god i broke their heart i know they're very burdened by something that they did in the past which because of which they feel their person has now put up strong boundaries may never allow them back in i mean they want a second chance but it's almost like yeah i know i i don't deserve a second chance especially not after the way i behaved i think they're scared that that person is now turning their back to them and moving on towards finding a new soulmate or new love in their life so five of wands what's the five of wands they want to they want to be in the running it seems <laughs> they're not sure yeah they don't know what the other person is going to choose they don't know whether if they approach it will backfire on them but they are not sure how many people could be fighting for their person's attention but and they're not sure whether they can now get back this ten of cups it's like i don't want things to backfire on me i don't want to look like a fool if i go and you know tell them that I want a chance now. They, that's the reason this person is look, you know, losing so much sleep and anxiety, sleepless nights. They don't want to look foolish in front of their person. I think that's that's what's leading to them to have a little less courage. I think they're scared of their person because they feel, what if they are still angry with me? What if they cut me out? What if they 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 choose not to choose me? Uh, eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. They, they desperately want to tell their person that uh, this and this the communication they want to put across to their person is, hey, listen, you're not just a friend. You're not just a friend with benefits. There are no third parties. I, you are the one I want a second chance with. You are the person who I want to have forward movement with. And they're hoping that this chapter hasn't totally been shut down by their person. I think there is silence between the two of you right now. That's why they're so worried. No, yeah, they could be very lonely at this time. Could be feeling they they know they know they know why that person is upset and angry with them. Somewhere they are also feeling that that person has gone silent or cold on them because maybe they're not even waiting around anymore. This person wants to know the truth. They want to talk. They want to know the truth, but they don't want. The truth at the cost of them feeling like, yeah, I just backfired, right? My friend, my person just told me they've already taken a leap of faith in a new direction. They've already chosen somebody else. That kind of stresses this person out. Uh, two of um, two of swords in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. 
Okay, one more. One more. Yeah, they don't have the courage. See, somewhere this person is scared of what the decision will be by the other person. It's like, I don't know what they're going to choose now. I, this is lack of courage to even find out. Uh, they, they want this ten of uh, pentacles, that's, that's for sure. But the reason why this person is stuck at crossroads right now is because somewhere they are feeling devastated. Why? Because they feel that person has given up on them, released them, has strong boundaries, will probably push them away. I think there's a hint of insecurity here. This person is feeling very, very insecure. Why is that, King of Pentacles? Why are you in reverse? Because they feel it's ended. What if my person, if what if my person has cut me out, told me it's over, I don't want anything with you? It'll kind of make them feel powerless. I mean, they, they know they already don't have the power anymore. It all depends on what the other person will choose now. And that's that's the insecurity. Um, they they are the, Their biggest wish is, I think, to come forward with some kind of a stable offer. They want to take this forward. They're wishing and hoping for it. But, but when they think about the heartbreak that was caused or what can be caused now if the other person says, hey, you know what, you were just toxic. You were a devil. You had all these bad habits. I'm already in a commitment elsewhere. I think just to know the truth, because they are expecting not, I mean, they want everything, but they're somewhere not sure of what will be said to them. In their mind, they feel, what if the truth is that my person doesn't see me in their life anymore? After the way I've treated them, after the way I've behaved with them, what if they don't want me back anymore? And what if they now have strong boundaries up and say, you know, I have a fortress around me, you cannot enter, and uh, this contract is over. This is over. I don't want to renew this contract with you. I think this person is feeling the void of love in their life now, feeling, oh my God, I lost out on the biggest cup of love. This was my, this was my twin flame, soulmate. This is my partner. And I just lost that. I lost the biggest cup of love of my life. So even though they are ready, absolutely ready now, I do see them now, like they're ready for to step up and offer commitment and all that. I think they're just a little scared of what the other person might say. Like, what, what, what will this person say? They'll pick up their sword and say, you didn't want me before. You left me out in the cold. You know how many people I have now wanting my attention. And the minute they think of that, they go back into their stress and anxiety and sleepless nights and feel, oh my God, oh my God, I'm sure it's going to backfire on me. I'm going to look like a fool. I mean, this person is sitting in just surrounded with swords. I... Tell me, Spirit, why is the Nine of Swords here as the overall energy for Pisces reading today? Yeah, they don't know what to do. They don't know whether if they approach their person, whether they can have this uh, Four of Swords, uh, Four of Wands now. Whether their person will accept it or maybe they have so many options now that they're saying, I'm not interested. I have, I am already in a commitment with somebody else. So... That's what I have for you, Pisces. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.